Welcome to the next video in the series. Yes, this is still about coronary angiograms, but we're actually going to switch over to talking about LV grams. And this really isn't a traditional way of learning views, but it does definitely work for some people, especially if you're more of a visual learner, you can really see the big picture of things. This might help some of your coronary views and identifying anatomy in those views click a little bit better. So if it works for you, fantastic. If not, that's okay. Some people just learn by the ribs, some learn by the placement of the spine, whatever works for you. It doesn't have to follow the mold of what everybody else tells you the way you need to learn it. If it just clicks in your brain, then that is fantastic. So let's dive into here. What you see are my images here on this side. And then on this side, these are actually two images. I do have them with permission to use in my orientation manual but they were published by Dr. Kern in Cath Lab Digest. If that's something that you subscribe to, he puts some great information in there um, in the editor's corner. So let's dive into it. These are, yes, LV gram views. The one that you're gonna see most often is ARIO. That's the traditional one we take because we can see the anterior and inferior wall. So we can really figure out, oh, is this an LAD issue or you know, a left or a right-sided issue. And you can see cardiac output. You can also see mitral regurgitation. Now, sometimes there are some physicians who also want to take an LAO view. Now, if you're working peds um, to really evaluate VSDs, you'll go in the LAO view. But something the LAO view shows you that the REO one doesn't is this lateral wall. So do you remember what vessel feeds the lateral wall? That is the circumflex. Now, why are we learning about left ventricular grams when we're talking about coronary angiograms? Well, I'll show you some examples later, but actually if you train your eye a little bit, you can see the heart shadow in many of your views, depending on how magged in you are, how zoomed in you are. So here, for instance, I know we are injecting the left ventricle, but you do see kind of the heart shadow and you see it follows this oblong pattern, right? And then in LAO, you see the heart shadow kind of dips down more like an oval or what we call a football shape. So if you know in RAO, you see the outline that you see of the heart shadow is anterior, apical, and inferior. What vessel feeds the anterior wall of the heart or the left ventricle? The LAD, the left anterior descending. So if I'm in an REO view, I would expect that the LAD would be along that shadow, correct? And then in LAO views, if this is the heart shadow, and I use the acronym SAL, S-A-L, for septal, septal, apical, and lateral, what feeds the lateral wall of the heart? the circumflex. So you would see the circ outline that side and then the LAD would normally come over here because the septal perforators on the LAD feed the septal wall and the LAD goes down to the apex, right? It wraps around the heart versus the um, circ, you know, feeds the lateral wall of the heart. Now, something important to remember is this is a th uh, an object that you see 360 degrees around, right, in real life. And these are 2D images. So technically, you do see everything, it's just the outline you are seeing is anterior, inferior, okay? But so where in this view is the septal and lateral wall? They're actually right here in the middle, just overlapped on each other. So when you rotate the heart, you now outline the septal and lateral, and then the anterior and inferior are right here, overlapped in front of you. Okay, so I hope that makes sense because Remember, you're not like just going to see the LED in this view. You'll also see the circ. So in REO, where would the circ be? Well, if that lateral and septal wall are overlapped in the middle, then the circ is going to be right here and the LED is going to be right here. And you'll see that reflected in some of the views we're going to look at. Okay, so try to remember anterior, apical, inferior. Know what your REO view is. And then in LAO, septal, apical, lateral. And although we don't take LV grams really in LAO, we do take plenty of coronary artery angiograms in LAO. So it will be important then. So let's look at some examples. First up is REO caudal. I think this view really showcases this concept the best because you see a very great outline of the heart. So now here you see a bunch of coronary arteries, right? 
but can you kind of see the shape of the heart in this view? And I, I gave you one of those LV gram views again, just as a comparison. So this is an LV gram and RAO. Now, if I trace this, can you kind of see that that's the heart outline based on where the coronaries are going? And you see that kind of matches the shape, right? Now we know in this RAO view for the LV gram, what's right up here is the anterior wall. What feeds the anterior wall? The LAD. So it makes sense that this vessel would be the LAD, right? Good. Okay, then that means that this one would be the circ. And in this case, this patient does have a high OM or a ramus. Okay, so I hope that makes sense for you because when you're doing left coronary artery angiograms, you really have a 50-50 chance. What you need to focus on is LAD versus circ first and then worry about the smaller vessels after. Because if you get the trunk of the tree wrong and you say, oh, this is the circ and start identifying OMs, then you're just going down a dark path, right? Versus correctly being able to identify, okay, this is RAO, this is the anterior wall, so this is the LAD, and then you can work on diagonals versus septals. And then you say, again, I knew this was the LAD, which means this must be the circumflex. And I drew it here for you as well. And I, I understand you're only seeing coronaries and, and this is gonna take some practice and some time to be able to see the heart shadow and shape. And sometimes you have you know, better shadowing than others. But if you have the coronaries, the coronaries are wrapping around the heart, right? They're on the epicardium. So they should be outlining really the heart shadow for you. It gets a little more complicated when you have things that are occluded. But again, even if this had a, a STEMI, right, this was an occluded circumflex. Actually, I'll put it over on this side just to make it a little more realistic for you. Okay, let's say we have an occluded circ, but you, you didn't know this was the circ, so you're trying to figure out what is actually occluded. Okay, and you go, oh man, what vessel is that that's occluded? Well, same idea, you're going to see the heart shadow and go, all right, well, this is REO, so this is the LED, something's missing, it must be the circ that's missing. Okay, next example, this one. So spider view is a little harder to identify with that view just because it, it's such a unique view, but we're gonna try it anyway, okay? Just to give you some example. So now looking at this image, can you see the heart shadow? If I asked you to trace out with your finger the heart shadow, would you be able to do that? All right, so I'll kind of do it here for you, and then I'll kind of do it here for you, okay? So that's the heart shadow in LAO. So. What is spider view? Do you happen to know off the top of your head? LAO caudal. It's one of the only ones that we really have. I know I typed that wrong. One of the only ones we really have a nickname for, which is why it's important to know what spider view actually means so that when you're asked these type of questions, you don't go, oh man, wait, is spider LAO or REO? It's LAO caudal. And that is, I'll go ahead and put here, that is AKA. spider view. There you go. Okay, so we kind of saw the heart shadow there. And remember in LAO, right, because these are LAO views, what should be going towards this side? Well, you remember that acronym SAL, right? S-A-L, and the L stood for lateral, meaning that the circ would be going towards this wall, okay, same here. This is the lateral wall, circ will be going towards this wall. Meaning we should be able to confidently identify, let me get a better color here. We should be able to confidently identify the vessel that's going towards this direction. Okay, this one is actually outlining that wall and it depends on the, the skew of the view, right? The actual degrees. But that one should be what vessel? The circumflex. Okay, good. Okay, so this will outline as the circ. And remember that 50-50 chance we were talking about? So what other vessel comes off of the left coronary artery? CX is a abbreviation for circ. So there's another big vessel here, right? So what should that be? 
What should this one be? The LED. And remember, in that nice LAO view, this is lateral, this was apical, but what was this one on the left-hand side? S for septal. And the LED, yes, it does go down to the apex, and this one is going down to the apex, right? But the septal perforators also feed the septal wall. Okay, so it makes sense that it would be on that side. And for our last example, we're going to do a side-by-side -side comparison here. Both of these views are in cranial, but the one difference is that, and remember, you're panning so you can see the view, right? is one is an LAO and one is an REO. So let's do our kind of memory recall here. So LAO, and yes, this is cranial, which we will touch on in a minute. And this is REO cranial as well. All right, so the heart shadow and LAO, it's kind of a oval and like a football. REO, it's kind of off axis a little bit. Now, can you see that on the image? Now look, you can kind of see the pericardium heart shadow here, and then here you could actually kind of trace it out with the coronaries, right? And this one, follow that LAD down, it makes it a little more, a little longer, right? Versus kind of going this way like this one does. So remember, in LAO, right, what wall is on this right-hand side? the circumflex, I'm sorry, the lateral wall, which the circumflex feeds, so the circ is somewhere back here. Now, do you remember what cranial views are best for? What vessel the cranial views are best to see? The LAD, right? So it makes sense that the circ is really hard to differentiate over here, right? It's hard to tell, is it this branch, or is that a diagonal? Is it this one? I'm not 100%. But what can you see at the forefront of the image? The LAD, right? And in cranial views, you can see the LAD vest. You do see this kind of oblong shape. So that tells you that this is LAO cranial. Now, what about this REO cranial view? So same idea. Cranial is best to see the LAD versus caudal is best for the circumflex. Now you see the heart shadow is more kind of pointed off this way, which is what our LV grams and REO look like. And then the wall up here, the vessel closest to that is the LAD plus in cranial views, we can see LAD the best. Now the circ is, I'll tell you, I know this is super tortuous, um, probably hypertensive, maybe a diabetic patient. Um, the circ is actually over here and this is actually really turned up on itself. So this is a horrible view for the circ, which makes sense. It's not a caudal view, it's a cranial view. That's why we can see this LED best. It's REO because it's in this kind of heart shadow that we're used to with the LV gram. And up here is the anterior wall. So it makes sense that the LED would be going this way and the apex is down here. And that's where the LED is trying to reach versus in LAO, the apex is down here, and that is the direction that the LAD is trying to reach. So again, I, I hope that just helps you get a, a different perspective than maybe some of the other ways that you're used to. A lot of people do use the spine, but sometimes you're just so zoomed in that you might not really be able to tell where the ribs are, what direction it's going, so maybe the heart shadow will help you a little bit. Thank you so much for being here. Like and subscribe and we will move on to some of the specific examples and views where we only talk about REO caudal, only talk about LAO caudal. So stay tuned for that.